Hi everyone, this is Maggie from Esri Canada's technology adoption team here to help you as you start working with ArcGIS Pro 3.0. Today we'll take a look at how to update from a previous version of ArcGIS Pro to ArcGIS Pro 3.0. Once you're ready to update your software, you can do this from within the current version of the application you have installed. Simply navigate to the settings page and in the about tab, you'll see the option to download now. Once you select this, it'll automatically launch the download manager and start downloading the files needed for ArcGIS Pro 3.0. The installation process has not changed from previous versions of the software. Again, you'll need to review and accept the master's agreement before continuing. And right away here, we got an error message. This popped up for us and it will happen for you regardless of if you're doing it from within ArcGIS Pro or from downloading files off MyEsri because we've not first installed Microsoft.NET 6. Without .NET 6, you cannot install or run ArcGIS Pro 3.0. This is something that we can correct though, so let's go to the Microsoft website and get the installer for .NET 6. On this site, which I've linked below, you can get the files that you need to install .NET 6 onto your machine. I'm using a 64-bit Windows machine, so I'm going to install that version of the software. You'll need to make sure that you're selecting the version that's compatible with the machine that you're using. So just go ahead and save this somewhere on your machine where you'll be able to run it. And once that download is complete, you can go ahead and install .NET 6 on your machine. It should only take a few seconds to get this installed. Now that this installation is complete, we can go ahead and run that same process for updating ArcGIS Pro that we tried to do previously. It's definitely much faster if you've got that .NET 6 files installed first. We don't need to repeat any steps, so just wanted to remind everyone to make sure you have .NET 6 installed before you try to update ArcGIS Pro. If you're doing it from inside the software or MyEsri, it won't make a difference. You need to have that file installed. Great, the update is complete, and so I can go ahead and open up ArcGIS Pro and get started working with the updated version of this software. Hopefully this video has helped you understand what you need to do before you can make the move to ArcGIS Pro 3.0 and will help you as you transition to this latest release. Thank you for listening and happy mapping.